Hey guys, welcome back to my uh, Pokemon Platinum walkthrough here. And last time I kind of, I kind of messed up afterwards, and I kind of like walked a little bit too far ahead to Route 201. And uh, supposedly we have to go to the lake now and find some legendary Pokemon. So just so you guys aren't uh, left off on what happened last time. Also, no one gave me a name for my damn Piplup, so uh. Thanks a lot, guys. Now I'm just gonna have to name it whatever I, uh, whatever comes to my head when we get to that time. Alright, so we get here, and one of the galactic bosses, I forget his name, damn it. I think Cyrus, yeah, Cyrus, is here just chilling out, looking at the lake, and he's talking about the legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. And then he walks out, and he's like, move out of the way. But at least he's nice about it, unlike, like, Team Rocket, they're just like, you know the fuck out of my way. He's like, step aside. And BC's like, what was that about? Okay, K2, let's catch that legendary Pokemon. And in this game, you can actually, like, hear the cry of the legendary Pokemon. Whereas before, like, you know, you just kind of came to the lake. That was the legendary Pokemon crying. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. And then, wait, we don't have anything on us, you know? Pokeballs. Pokey accent balls. So I'm pretty sure BC over here likes balls. <laughs> oh my god, this music is just so laggy. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off for a while. Maybe we'll turn it back on when we battle or something. Alright, so what you wanna do now is you have to go all the way to Sandrum Town. And you gotta go through some grass. And I want you guys to tell me whether or not you want me to skip wild battles. We haven't run into any yet, but we are going to run into a lot. And eventually I'm just going to start using repels, but until that happens, I'm just going to show the battles. And you guys have to tell me whether or not you think it's annoying. Because I know some people like like to see it and stuff. Oh, hold on one second. Okay, I can fight now. And just because I want to level up my Pipple up a little bit before I uh, get too far in the game. I think I'm actually gonna kill this Starly. And he just lowered my attack. Don't tell me we're gonna have another stall war with this damn Starly. <laughs> that happened last time, and that was not very happy. Oh yeah, so guys, question of the day. I don't know if how many of you guys watch uh, Charlie Brown Christmas, but I watched it yesterday for like the 30th time. And uh, I wanna see if you guys can guess what the name of the uh, the piano guy it's the guy that plays the piano in Charlie Brown. It's a really weird name, and it's hard to guess, and you have to go back to your memories from your childhood. But if anyone can guess it without the use of the computer, like literally, I don't want you guys using the computer for this. That's not cool. Either you know what the Charlie Brown Christmas guy is, or you don't. Alright, so we get to Sandrum Town, and uh, Dawn pops up, and she's like, Oh, hello there. And she says, the professor's waiting for us at his lab. And, uh, we walk over to the lab, and BC pops out, and knocks heads with us for the second time. And that's his first exclamation point of this video, I think. That might be his second. I think one of these videos, we're gonna have to do a count on how many exclamation points he has. <laughs> so anyway, he runs off in the distance, and he's like, I'm gonna become a better trainer faster than you. And I'm like, hells no. And, uh... She says he's impatient, which is not a good quality. <laughs> I don't know if Brandon's actually impatient. I, I wouldn't call him that. It's kind of mean. Okay, is our volume going to be normal now? Okay, I think it's going to be normal for us now. <laughs> yes, so I thought about it long and hard, and I'm going to name you... Atlantis, after that city that we can no longer find. I think it's a, a suiting name, considering you can't find more Piplups than just this one. So it says, hmm, okay, I see, and you're happy with that nickname. And I say, yeah, because you guys couldn't give me a freaking nickname for my Piplup. Uh, and he says astounded about six times in two sentences. And he says, Piplup should feel, should cherish you? Is that what it said? 
I'm so glad that you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to. Oh, I just can't say it. Come on, Don. What are you gonna do to us? Come on. Ahem. <clears throat> is that is that what they mean? Is that what he just did? <clears throat> I can't even do that. So he goes off on this long speech about the Pokemon in the Sinnoh region. And I'm just re really trying to skip through this, guys. I, I want to get to the cool stuff. Hmm, good answer. I don't even know what I just answered to. And last video, I, I kind of realized afterwards that you guys could, like, hear me banging on my keys. Because I get kind of frustrated over the game. And, uh, I just started randomly banging on the keys during one part. So I'm going to try and keep that to a minimum now. I switched up my keys, so I shouldn't, I shouldn't be clicking as much as I was before. Uh, I can't believe we're still doing this, and it's halfway through the second episode. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm Dawn. Of course you are, because the game said you were. Uh, yeah, so I think I might just make two really quick videos back to back. Because I feel like I'm almost cheating you guys out of uh, a uh, <clears throat> a video. It's not it's not really that cool, is it? And he gives you uh, TM27, which I'm pretty sure is return, which is really good. But you can't really use it until uh, <clears throat> I think when I first played the game, I, I gave return to my Pokemon around the third or fourth gym. Because by then, your starter. Or Whoever guy you decide to give it to is normally more friendly with you, and it'll do more damage. Cause like if I just gave it to Pipla right now, it wouldn't do shit. It, I, I'm sure Peck would do ten times more damage. Okay, I'll act as your mentor. I don't need mentor. Okay, I really think we're gonna have to cut this short. I don't like cutting stuff short. This is the building with the red roof, called the Pokemon Center. Obviously. I thought in the beginning of the game I said no additional information needed because I'm already a pro. And here they are showing this crap and asking us all these questions. I'm not a novice trainer, okay? I'm better at battlery than you, Dolan. Get out of here. <sighs> I'm so tired right now, guys. Like, you have no idea what it took for me to actually make this LP. Uh, I was like just dead tired from my soccer tournament. We, uh, we had to go down to some military compound place, and we played soccer with, like, soldiers around the field. It was pretty awesome, actually. <clears throat> but, yeah. Alright, so she wants us to go up there. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. And then the second exclamation point of the video... Dawn, K2, did you tell your family that you're helping the professor? You didn't, did you? I know that you're really eager to see all kinds of Pokemon, but you shouldn't make your mom worry that you disappeared. Are you serious? I have to go back to... You know what? I'm not going to waste time with this. I'm not going to make you guys sit there here while I go back to tell my mom. So I'm going to go back and tell my mom, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're back here with mom. And she's uh, sitting here watching some more TV. Welcome home, K2. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest. Okay, and it says, what is it, K2? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Really, what kind of mother lets their ten-year-old son just go off on a journey? To who the hell knows where? To random cities with random people. With villains like Team Galactic running around in frickin' jumpsuits. <laughs> just kidnapping people and Pokemon. My god, it's not even funny. What kind of mother is she? She's a horrible mother. <clears throat> oh my god, a random lady pops in. BC's mom, excuse me. Oh no, he's not here. So, BC left already without telling his mom, but I have to sit here and go through this whole conversation with both, my par both their parents. It's not even funny. Apparently I have to drop off this parcel to BC. Alright, so I have to go to Jubilife City and deliver the parcel. 
Alright, so next video will be right after this. And see you.